Hello, in this video I will show you how we can work on the percentiles of a continuous variable on SPSS. Suppose that we want to check uh, the mathematics score that we have collected for a number of students and we want to generate along to descriptive statistics some percentiles that we would like to find out percentages of, of students below or above a specific uh, score. So we go to analyze descriptive statistics and we select the frequencies. We pick the math score or some other uh, variable. We could also add the exam score. And from the statistics, we can pick a number of um, either the quartiles, the standardized uh, three quartiles, uh, Q1, Q3, and the median, or we can define some cutting, some cut points in equal groups, or we can define our own percentiles. So, if we pick here a number, we can remove it, or we can change that. Let's say that we would like to find out uh, the 35 percentile and the 75. We write the number here in the box and add it in the list. At the same time, we want to calculate the mean and the median to compare and also the minimum and maximum. Now, if we press continue, uh, we, for the time being, we do not generate any charts or any frequency table because we, uh, we have to do with continuous variables. Uh, press OK and as you can see, we have a very compact table where we can compare uh, the score of the 35% of the students for maths and written exams. As you can see, 35% is below 57 for the maths and 60 for the written score. And 75% of the students is below 70 and 74. And we can compare with the mean and median values. So, in a very quick way, we can define the percentiles this way, along with some descriptive uh, statistics. Again, I would like to say that for the frequencies, as soon as we're dealing with continuous variables, uh, if we want to uh, group the variables according to some classes, we need to perform that in another way. So, this is all about how to define percentiles in order to display appropriate uh, percentages for a continuous variable, one or more continuous variables. Thank you very much.